two, identify each half reaction below as either oxidation or reduction. And then they give us this equation. So we have Cl minus, which will yield Cl two. Now, whenever you're dealing with oxidation or reduction, or reduction and oxidation, or if you're dealing with redox, right? R-E-D-O-X is the combination of reduction and oxidation uh, equations. Whenever you're dealing with these uh, topics in chemistry, we always think of the mnemonic Leo, the lion, says Gur. Leo stands for lose electrons. That's always oxidation. So if you're losing electrons, you're always going to become oxidized. By losing electrons, you're always going to become more positive because electrons are negative. On the flip side, the GER gain electrons is always reduction. So gain electrons, always reduction. And if you're gaining electrons, you're gaining negatives, you're going to become more negative. The easiest thing to do, especially if we have half reactions, is to notice where the electrons are in your balanced equation. If your electrons are always on the right side, that's always oxidation. If your electrons are always on the left side, that's always reduction. But uh-oh, they didn't give us electrons here. So we first have to find them. So let's go for it. We have to find the charges of what chlorines are on both sides. Now, for this one, Cl minus, they literally said that it was a negative one, right? It was just a negative, so that means that it's a negative one charge. So I have a negative one on this side. And now over here, this chlorine is a diatomic Cl2. That's in its, you know, standard state. And there's no, no charge in the upper right-hand corner. That means that there was zero, right? A zero charge. Now, if you wanted to solve for this chlorine, we would say two times what charge would equal to the total charge, zero. But just know that any time that you have a diatomic, so it's Cl2, Br2, I2, O2, N2, those elements are always going to be zero. So now we have the electrons. Now, if you want to write the actual full-blown half equation, just know that we would have to put a 2 in front of the chlorines. So maybe we'll do that just to kind of play it safe. Right, there was two chlorines here, so I'm going to have to put a 2 in front of the Cl. And now, since I have a 2 in front of the Cl, the total charge just changes a little bit because I have 2 times a negative 1. And two times a negative one is now a total charge of a negative two. The answer is going to be the same, whether you balance it or whether you don't, but it's just, I guess, you know, more proper. It's the more proper way to balance a balanced equation by just adding the, you know, the coefficient in front. Anyway, whenever, whenever I say the word proper, I gotta, I gotta bring out the, the British accent. But anyway, let's keep going. So. Now we just have to balance the, the electrons, right? And remember, we always want to get to the lower number. Since electrons are negative, you're always going to add it to the more positive side. So at negative two versus a zero, you say to yourself, well, what side is more positive? Zero. So I know that I have to add electrons over here. Now we could basically stop and answer the question because we already said electrons have to be on the right side. But just to make it, you know, more practice, how many numbers is it from zero to negative two, right? Well, zero to negative two, if I think of a number line, I gotta go to negative one and then negative two. So I have to add two electrons. And now, since the electrons are on the right side, that means that you lost them, right? Electrons always on the left, on the right side is always oxidation. So now we could just say, hey, those electrons are over there. And there you go. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for, for viewing the video. And I hope you're, you're having a great day out there. Let's keep studying hard. And I will talk to you soon. Okay. Toodaloo.